Back to Nightly Sports Call. We have a few minutes here to take a couple more calls, but make sure after the show you make the switch to KDK TV. I am on the Juju Bike Trail. I've been doing some investigating, calling my contacts, and we have some details. We have some updates on where this bike might be, Gene. Uh, on the south side, you know, I'm on it. I'm on it. We're going to have something. You're going to have to stay and watch the beginning of the news because okay. uh, we have some information for you. All right. Um, Let's see, NFL Marquise just tweeted me, hard to imagine Martavis lasting a season here with distractions and emergence of Juju. I kind of agree with you there, Marquise. I do agree with you. Let's go out to the phone lines, and we're going to go out to Tom in Franklin. How you doing, Tom? Hi, guys. Uh, I, I think the locker room is stronger than the story, so to speak. Uh, the national media is all over this. You guys are all over this, no offense. But you, we taking. have guys in the locker room like to it. You know, Hayward, uh, Ben. You know what, Tom? I'm going to stop you. We're all over it because people are calling in about it. Uh, we mentioned it, and people want to talk about it. It's the big story today here. And what he went out and, and, and his tweets and his social media, what he's doing is a big distraction. I don't care who you are. Um, just think about your business. If someone's talking about you at, at your place of work or what you do or talking about your family, it's a distraction. I don't care who you are. It's a distraction in that locker room. And if it continues, it will hurt their chances of going to the Super Bowl. I totally believe that. Team? No? no I'm okay. I like when you agree with me. Um, let's go out to John in Green Tree. How you doing, John? Hey, thanks for taking my call, guy. How you doing today, man? Yeah, How no you? problem. Great. Doing great. Thanks for calling. Um, thanks for taking my call. Um, yep. Hey, um, thanks for calling. Do you think the uh, can beat the Lions? Thank you. Yeah, I think they'll beat the Lions. Let's go out to Tom in Elwood City. How you doing, Tom? Good, how are you? Thanks for calling. Hey, no problem. Hey, uh, Brian, what he, what he should do is they should put him on the practice squad or put him inactive for a couple of weeks and see how he reacts to that. And well, you can't put there. him on the practice squad. Um, and someone, would, someone would sign him off the practice squad. Inactive for a couple of weeks is the way I would go, Gene. And that's the way it sounds like you you would go. You would release him. I would release You're him. You're a tough. You would be a tough coach. To you would be a tough coach. I would have released him. Yeah. Yeah. You would be a tough coach. That's for sure. I'd be a terrible coach, man. Um, tough. All right. Matt Daldoni just tweeted me. Who are these people that call and hassle you guys on the sports call? I, you know what? I agree. Who are these people? If you're gonna call and and um, prank us. At least be funny and, and come up with a good one that we actually would get. Um, but, you know, let's go out to Carla. Oh, Carl in Altoona. We get a lot of phone calls from the Altoona area. Carl, turn on your phone. You got yes, about, sir. Yep, you got about 30 seconds, buddy. I would love to see Yammer Yager come back to Pittsburgh for a two-year contract, finish out his career, <laughs> He'd be like 60, right, Gene? He's not coming back to Pittsburgh um, only to play against the Penguins. Hey, that, that's not going to happen. But the Penguins had a good game tonight. Um, winning in overtime. Winning in overtime. Phil Kessel. Uh, and, and you get a goal by Ian Cole. Uh, it's a, a pretty nice win for the Penguins tonight, beating a team like this. And uh, they're, they're going to be a team to contend with. Um, you know, I like the move about waving Antti Niemi. Obviously, you weren't going to fix that, but you call up the backup, so hopefully he doesn't play a lot. You're going to have to rely on Matt Murray, right? Well, it's going to be interesting to see how the Penguins operate without two great goaltenders. They'll see how the other half lives. Yeah, and I mean, if it, I don't know. At some point, they might have to call Jari up here. Uh, right now, they're going to go with DeSmith as, as their backup see what he can do in an NHL game, but I'm sure it's going to be better than giving up 16 goals in three games. Yeah. There's like a bunch of teams that have less goals than Anthony Emmy. All right. Well, that's it for us tonight. Thanks for calling. Thanks for tweeting. We appreciate it. Thanks to Gene for stopping in. Mm -hmm. I got to go. I'll see you over on our other set, KDK TV News. Make sure